Hi, just wanna jump on here. We're actually gonna do our nails today. I've had my nails off for, okay, they've been, they've been off for a while, they've been off for a couple days, but just wanted to do a little quick nail run through of how I do my nails. It's not gonna be anything super like in depth or long, but if you want one of those, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. All right guys, nails are prepped, not quite primed. I have my left hand buffed out because I do that one first because I'm right handed. But I've got the Kiera Sky Step 1. It actually came with their Jelly Tips kit. That'll be a whole separate video, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But I like to do this when I do use acrylics too. It just works out really well. Because I do use the Kiera Sky Monomer. I'll do the one before I glue on my tips, which I already have picked down and those are also prepped. So we're gonna glue those on. And I use the McCart nail glue. I used to use the Dollar Tree nail glue, not, uh, I'm gonna be honest. And it worked for what you paid for it. So like dollar, so you can expect how that went. And I was always losing nails, they were everywhere. And it was just not it. This nail glue is amazing though. 10 out of 10, we'll buy again. Alright guys, since I do, I do, bleh. since I do hair y'all, I am going to cut these down a little bit and actually glue this one on a little bit more. Because this is not a practical length nor shape to do anyone's hair with, so we're going to work from here. I didn't move the camera too much. I don't think I want to do these as long as I had them last time, so I want to cut them relatively short. Like, short for me. Like, for me, that's pretty short. That little pinky nail, if you can see it. These all look relatively even, so that's fine. Using a buffing block to even out the shape of your nails is not the best thing to do. So I'm actually gonna grab a file. brush soaking in acetone just to clean it out and get the gunk out from last time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour my little Kier Sky Monomer. I always spill this. Oh, I always spilled a couple drops. That's not bad. I know I always pour out a little more than what I'll actually need, but I would rather do that than have to keep pouring out and pouring out and pouring out and pouring out. 
Step two, going in and putting that on my natural nail, not on the tips that I glued on. This is just to help with adhesion with the acrylic to the actual nail. I've got my little Mia Secret acrylic powder. And here we go. And I'm only gonna really show you how I do my one, like how I do one nail. I'm not gonna make you sit here and go, like watch me do all ten of these. So I'm gonna do my other four on my left hand. All right, guys, my acrylic is laid on my left hand. It didn't take me that long. If you see weird stuff on my paper towel, it's because I have a terrible habit of letting my nail brushes sit in any kind of liquid for too long. So if I just like wipe like the pinky finish that's coming off but I like to use the number 14 brush but let's get these bad boys filed down all right guys left hands filed now time for the right hand all right guys Ooh, a little okay, right now. anyways both hands are acrylicified. <laughs> I've got both hands done. Ooh, let me file right there. I don't know what happened with my middle finger, but it ended up very, very short. But we're just gonna roll with it. All right, guys, we've made it to the painting portion. Finally, I had to take a chicken wing break. They were not very good. But I picked out this nice little, I don't know, it's like a dusty purple almost. Um, like I've seen this color before. I'm just trying to think of how to articulate or like properly describe this. Oh man, I feel like it's a mix between Grey Pole Pie and the Grape Laffy Taffy color. But anyways, let's paint away. Very pretty. Only one coat.
<clears throat> I may be a full grown adult, but I still have a hard time staying in the lines. <laughs> like in my defense, I've never been good at like coloring in the lines or anything. Yeah. This is no different. Regina, I don't like that. She was trying to claw at the door and I'm like, no. Not today, little nugget. Not today. Are you stuck on the rug? You see what you get? Yes. I know what color this is. It's the color of the grape soda that, um, oh my gosh, what's her name from Up? The wife that dies? This is the color of the grape soda badge if I'm not losing my marbles. I very well may be, but that's what this color reminds me of. All right guys, second coat is on. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it with this matte top coat. And we're gonna do a little fun surprise in a minute. Now I'll show you. Let's put on this top coat. Channeling my inner Emily Susanna here. Having fun today. Tweezers to remove the cat hair. Oh, there's cat hair already on the tweezers! Haha! Ah! <laughs> Got it! We're gonna leave those out. I'm not worried about top coating the end of my nails right now. And you'll see why in a bit. I love watching it move from shiny to matte seconds after I put it under the light. It's my favorite thing. Alright, here's a matte top coat. I feel like I'm really close to the lens, and if I am, I am so, so sorry! <laughs> I'm running at like 50% brain power today, but it is what it is. Alright. Words have they've all left me. I know not now. I ended up doing a matte top coat, then a shiny top coat as a fringe tip. Cause I, I didn't want to go too crazy this time. Ooh, I top coated myself. Like I didn't want to go too crazy. I just want something cute, simple, great. But now I'm thirsty. I need to do my right hand. This might take a little longer. Alright guys, both hands are done. Um, looking like a hot mess today. I don't know what's going on with my hair, but thanks for doing your nails with me. Or whatever you did while you watched this. Whether it be matching your socks or trimming your cat's nails. 
I genuinely appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. See you in the next one.